welcome to Toad TV again. Part deux. Part deux. We have just finished um, filming our knitting podcast and we are now going to do our stitching podcast because we're crazy. <laughs> we're crazy, man. We have a short period of time that we have available and we are taking <laughs> advantage of it. Um, so, stitching. This is our second floss tube. Right. So we First probably... week of stitch mania. Oh, Ooh. introduce ourselves. Right. I am Mary Beth. You can find me all over as Mary Beth 4 I am Helen, and you can find me as Helen HG69. And we are both knitters primarily, but we have fallen deep, 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 deep into the cross stitch rabbit cross hole. tube rabbit hole. I'm a goner. All in. Yep. I'm a goner. Yep. So, okay. Um, we are the creative minds and hands behind Toad Hollow, the we are we dye yarn and make bags for creative people. And we have started making cross stitch bags. So, um, we are just not bags for knitters anymore. Yep. We're creatives all across the board. Uh, for those of you that are new to our podcast, because you are watching us for Floss Tube, we have two dogs, Spike and Drusilla, who chime in periodically. We try to keep the barking to a minimum, but they are members of the family and they do like to put their two cents in. And unfortunately for you, they were really good for the last podcast. Yes. So. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It lasts. They're very tired. They've had yes. a long month. Um, Okay, we should mention that we were at Maryland Sheep and Wool uh, last weekend. Uh, we talked about that a lot on our last podcast. We did meet several people there who said that they are stitching and things like that, and they're watching right. us because of the stitching. So Some people are actually blaming us. I know. The nerd. For sure. <laughs> anyway. Um, Let's get um, into Stitch Mania. Oh, the, the whole point of Maryland Sheep and Wool is... Um, I know, I know, I'm like... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, but the whole thing about Maryland sheep and wool and everything is I had all these great plans and I have started something for every day of the month so far. However, some of them are very small stories. <laughs> Mine I knew going in um, because we, uh, I knew that with vending and setting up the booth and everything like that, that we were the first week was going to be crazy. So my first couple are were intentionally picked as whips so that I knew I didn't have to like find floss or anything like that and I was ready to go. Right. So I that, jumped that, that in. was my way of uh, getting around it. I jumped in and said 31 days, 31 new starts. Okay. And I have so far I had to do yesterday's this morning because um yesterday got out of hand. Yeah, yesterday did get a little bit out of hand. I love that with the hecticness of Maryland and everything like that, we managed to stitch. There was a day where I'm thinking it was under 10 stitches. Oh, yeah. But I got a stitch. Um, managed to get all those stitches done. And yesterday, our recuperation week was the day that uh, yeah. just could not fit the time in. Our, yes, so. uh, our recuperation week has, has hardly been recovered <laughs> so far. <laughs> Let's so get started. Working on it. All so, right. Um, excuse me. Okay. I was drinking water in the last podcast. So I've moved on to the hard stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we've moved on to Diet Coke. Okay, so day one. Stitch mania. My day one is doing a cover for my journal. We both have a stitching journal. And I am creating a cover for mine. I am typing, I am typing, I am stitching out the words stitch journal on it. And then I am going to take this pattern that a friend gave us and I'm going to kind of um, twist it around a little bit and I am going to put the um, beehive in the middle and instead of having a line that goes up and around and down, I'm going to have it go straight across and I'm going to use the bugs and have them going around it and have bees flying around the beehive. I am not doing it in the colors they suggest, I'm going to do it in bright fun colors like purple and green and pink. This is as far as I got with that one. I am not too upset with that. No. I got a little bit done. 
This is a piece of floss that I had started my Alice on and I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I um, decided to repurpose it for other things and I have started using this. I am using the letters from Brenda Gervais's monthly wordplay. I love the way her letters look. So between we, I am doing October, Helen is doing December. Between the two of us, I'm pretty sure we have every single letter of the alphabet and if we don't, we I should. can figure it out. Yeah. Um, so that that is as far as I have gotten right now. Jay would be the only one, but I'm pretty sure I have Jingle on mine. You have Jingle on yours. Um, yeah, and everything else is yeah. a piece of cake. I actually have I-T-C-H on mine because I have witch on mine. <laughs> so I actually have those have right, and one right next to each other so that I can do that. So, so far, I'm really pleased with this. I have only done it. That's what I did on the first. And I did not do it any other day just because I have had, not had the time to go back and work on anything. So that is my day one. Go. 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 My day one was a whip. And it was my chocolate mice. And what I did was I put did all my back stitching for my third mouse. So he is now all done. Look at how awesome he is. Would you like me to hold it up closer to the camera because I'm closer? He is really cool. So when I showed him on the last floss tube, he was he was done. He didn't have his back stitching. So you can see what a difference it makes. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, this is so cool! <laughs> Every time I, I see, see this, it, it's just like I'm blown away. I know. Every time I pattern. see it, I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty. And then you add something new to it, but, and I'm like, ah, oh. love so her stuff. I just uh, the pattern is by Lola Lada on Etsy, and um, I love it. It's a, a you get PDF download that you buy. So I just have to, I have to f the fourth mouse. And it is ready to go. And I'm going to ultimately frame it and put it in my kitchen. So. Very, very cool. I just love them so much. They have so much personality. Yeah. So. I mean, the first thing she did was the chocolate and then his finger holding up. And you knew that there was so much right. personality because he's holding this chocolate truffle up and on one finger. Until I backstitched it, it kind of looked like he was giving you the finger. He really did. <laughs> <laughs> Now that he has you know, become a little more PG. Right. Not um, quite so rude. But, <laughs> but uh, so. Love that. That is very cool. All right. Day two. Let's see what I started on day two. Day two of, um, was, was our trip to Maryland. My spring birds. Right. Day two. For me, I'm gonna have to wear my glasses. I'm sorry, I cannot see this. This is Spring Birds by Country Cottage Needleworks. And it looks like that. This one, I got most of the colors exactly the right colors. I got it started and I am doing it on white floss. Uh, no, not white floss white fabric and this is where I am I got as far as there I think on day two and then I went back another day when I had been doing a lot of dark colors and I just wanted to work with something with a little bit more bright colors and added in a little bit more of it so that is where I am right now for it and for this this one I love the color work. I think the colors oh, are so, so spring and so pretty. And so nice on the white. And just so gorgeous. I mean, it's such me as far as and those it's just colors. Spring. Yeah. Yeah. So those are, um, that is where I am with those. So that's day two for me. Okay. Day two for me was another whip. It was uh, my Prairie Schooler Rabbit Run. So I um, worked a little bit on him, and what I did was I um, got this pink flower and the green leaves here done and started the rabbit down here. I haven't seen this. Oh, cool. So. Well, that's pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. I like that. So that is 
I do too. Cool. All right. Day three, we did, um, we joined Ima the Ingleside Imaginarium's War of Tooth and Claw 2019 Mystery Stitch Along. We joined this back in March when she released the first one and did nothing with it just because um, we wanted, we both were kind of working towards finishing certain things, getting stuff done and not starting anything new because we weren't sure we were gonna have 31 things to right. start in May. <laughs> um, honestly, so funny. really, 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 cause um, I need to remember to add these to my list of DMCs cause I didn't do this one. Um, the thought okay. that we would not have 31 starts is, I think we have 75. It's ridiculous, we went off the deep end. Anyway, this is where she is so far with the War of Tooth and Claw. The crown was the first thing that she released and then stag. the stag and then the falcon. And then there's another one coming out in June and it goes over eight months, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. We both started this on the third, right? Yes, that's my favorite. Yeah, yeah, okay. I started mine in the middle of the crown and this is as far as I have gotten. So that is my start for day three. As I said, this is one of my smaller ones. Um, day three was set up for Maryland and yeah, uh, yeah that. <laughs> so I got that done. So I started uh, on the edge of the crown. So this is where Helen's starting. She's starting like right here. Okay. Nope, other side. Well, okay, so you're starting, but you're yeah. starting up with the points. So that's what I got done. Very cool. Yes. It's got some interesting colors in it. But yeah, I have to add that to my list of flosses that we need to get because we need to finish. We're getting all organized with our flosses. Uh, our kitchen table is just floss from one end to another because we're trying. We have four or five of certain colors. And if we had figured out which ones we had before we went and bought yeah. more, it would have been much better. We could have been much better prepared. Me. Okay. My day four is... Has a price tag on it. We're just going to... Okay, day four is Autumn is Coming by Madame Chantilly. Day four was day one of Marilyn Sheep and Wool, and it was, if you watch our previous episode, um, it was Insanity, and uh, we got home on. I'm surprised. Did you do some in the morning? No, you couldn't have. It was five in the morning. This is my day four. <laughs> Okay, I just went back down. Mine I doesn't look so pathetic. I stayed <laughs> awake and managed to get four stitches in, and that was about as far as I got because I was so tired. <laughs> Actually, I think that's upside down. I think it's supposed to be like this. Okay, so here's my day four. Look, that makes it so much better. <laughs> All right, so day four was, um, yeah, that day, that's, that's one of my really, um, my needle minder is from Elizabeth Zimmerman from the Just One End podcast, and she gave that to us when we saw her at Needles Up, and it is awesome. But there you go, that's my day four. Okay. It's my day four. <laughs> it's the last of my whips. Everything else from now on is new. Okay. Um, but it's my Spring Cupcake by Lola Lada Designs, and um, look how much I got done. <laughs> you lie. Liar. Liar. Okay, so. Um, one of the pinks over here, I did 10 stitches. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put See, pictures up in here because I'm reverberating too much. <laughs> this color, I got maybe 10 stitches done. But I got something done. Mm -hmm. So um, We did get something done. I knew done. that uh, May 4th, Saturday, was going to be the worst day because not only did we have a crazy day working um we had to come back and put kits together for sunday so i mean also, i think i'd like to point out that we had to be up at 5 30 in the morning right. and we just do do that and i think we finally sat down to stitch at like 9 30 at night in a lodge with brown walls 
Like, and we were we were doing it and everything and trying to figure it out and we finally we realized had, that we hadn't turned on the track lighting behind us. <laughs> we couldn't see this. I mean, we had our little uh, Amazon lights that we had bought, but they were okay. But it was just oh my god, we couldn't see anything. And then uh, then we figured out the next day that. Um, Oh, day five is one of my favorites. Yeah. Okay, so day five for me, I'm starting a series here. <laughs> All right, day five was Miss Mary Margaret Wool by the Primitive Hair. I love this series. I think it is awesome. Um, it uses maybe five colors that's it i mean it's just so you've got that it's got a very rustic look to it i really really like it um How big do they? Okay. Not um, big, right? let's see it's 55 it's um nine centimeters by 21 centimeters okay not terribly big they have them shown on the very cheese colors. boards or something like that um and I kind of like that idea of doing that, so I'm going to look for those at like an yeah. antique store. But, okay. Here is my day five. I got the, no, well, no, I got, got the, the first half of the, w done. of the W done. I added the second half on another day, just um, finishing it up. But uh, that is as far, that is day five. So that's Miss Mary Margaret Wool. My day five is my turning point, my stitching career. So I am doing Cristoforo by Alessandra Adelaide Needleworks. I adore him. So do I. He is awesome. And we have been gifted some fabrics to try. Um, and so this is my first time trying a higher count, a higher than an 18 count fabric. So this is 28 count, I believe it's Jobelin that I'm using. And I did this in the dark and it worked out fine. I'm trying to figure out, okay, that's the top. So that's about as much as I got done. I did not get a tremendous amount done, but I am stitching two threads over two stitches and I'm a convert on the higher count fabrics now. Can I hold this up closer? Yeah. Okay. There you can see it a little bit better. And I'm using my needle minder from the Zimmerman. Yeah. Um, so when we went uh, shopping on Monday, I bought fabric because now I'm converted to the higher count fabrics. And I love the color of this fabric. I love the color of that fabric too. And he is going to be big. He's much bigger than uh, that would lead you to believe because he's pretty much going to take up most of He's going to take up the height of the fabric. He's going to take up all <laughs> So he's going to take up the whole height of the fabric we were figuring out. So it's going to be interesting course, to see. My figuring in the past hasn't been he's really, what he's going to do is he's going to take up this much space. Right. Um, but we'll see. We will see. So that is day five. All right. Day six for me was. Grimalkin's Apothecary by the Wooly U Needlebooks. That is what I am doing. I managed to get, I have this great big piece of Ada that I am doing. <laughs> I'm starting, I have like, literally, I think I have five different projects started on this one piece of Ada. All right, so I have gotten that much done. These are the little bumps that are going down the side. So I am doing that right there. We had a comment on our last uh, stitching post uh, podcast asking us why we didn't find the center of the fabric. Depending on the um, 
pattern that we're using, like for my Alice one, I did find the center because there is so much going on with that. I wanted to make sure that it was in the middle and I was giving myself plenty of room. With these, since I am doing them all on one very large piece that I am going to chop apart after I finish each one, I am starting in the top, in one of the corners so that I'm lining it up with the edge of the fabric is what I'm doing. So that is what I got done as far as my Grimalkin on day six. My day six is <gasps> Delivering Liberty by Homespun Elegance. That's so cool. So that's him. And I have started the, I got the top border started. And this is on, I bought this, we, uh, on our way home on Monday from uh, Maryland, we stopped at the Stitching Post which is the needle store in, needlework store in Catonsville, Maryland. And I spent my budget on fabric. So I got, this is a 28 count. I think it's 28 count, hold on. I wrote it down. No, 32 count lamb's wool javelin that I bought. <laughs> um, who was it? Kimberly from Fat Quarter. Fat Quarter does lamb's wool Ada. Yeah. She loves it. She doesn't want to work on anything else. I'm sorry. That was rude. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Um, so this was, a, it came packaged in plastic, so I couldn't feel it. So it's a little bit stiffer than linen, which the stitches stay in place better, but I'm not sure I like the, f the hand feel of it. So do you think maybe wash it first? Because the Ada changed so drastically. Yeah, maybe. Washed it. I don't know. Um, if you get so, another I mean, piece. Again, it's just, it's testing all the different types of Besides, he fabric. is not going to take up that whole fabric. So once you figure no, out how big then he I is, can wash. we can wash it yeah. and see the difference. Yeah. So that is as far as I got. Because I got a little stitching done when we got home. That's very cool. I spent a lot of my budget on patterns. Because I didn't have enough patterns. I had to fill in. So I bought, following the Primitive Hair series, I got Miss Lynette Lynn Linen, which Sorry, is a cat. And then I got Miss Sarah Sue Silk, who is a crow. And then our good friend Ray sent us Miss Harriet Hair Cotton, who is a rabbit. That's a thank you from her wallet yeah, for cause bringing we... <laughs> her down the rabbit hole with us. So I we... believe she said that she has now been to every needlework store in the state of Arizona. <laughs> oh, does she really? So there are four in the series. We now have all four of them. Um, and this kind of ties into my next one because day seven, I started linen. So this is where I am as far as the linen. You can see we got a little bit more time. Yeah, our, our, our time is opening up a little bit. So that is linen. And then um, day eight for me is silk. And I got this done this morning because um, I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday. So I started the SI for silk for today. So on my piece of Ada, I have silk over here. And then when I turn it over, I have wool and linen and then cotton is going to go probably next to silk. I'll probably do it over here next to silk. I'll have cotton over here. And then when it comes time, I will take them, I will cut them out and mount them. Right. Right. So those are my last two days. Okay. Okay. So my last day is day seven. Because I have to do eight and nine today. Um <sighs> so much oh my god i love, I love everything about this one because okay so this one is many haunted stitches again by homespun elegance oh and i adore him he's I, so if, cool if you've been watching us for a while you know we have a thing for crows um so 
I, I got some uh, prepackaged uh, fabrics, nicer fabrics from the stitching post. And I only bought one of the hand dyed because I wanted, I wanted it all. But it's pricier fabric and before I, I just wanted to try it. Um, so I got a piece of 32 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. So this is the fabric. Wow. That's, oh. That I, is pretty. And I knew that when I picked it, I was picking it for the That particular project, stitches. yeah. Um, look at it. So I just... Let's see what you got done. I got the back of and, and the, the cat. cat. Yeah. Oh, you got so much done. Yeah, so I got the border and then the back end of the cat. Oh my god. So... So is that as tall as it's gonna be? Just about, yeah. This is a, this, this is, is a, a smaller this one. This is the bottom. Yeah, he's he's gonna be a small one. Okay. So I'm going to get more out of um, this one piece. This yeah. one piece of fabric, but uh, I really really like the hand dyed fabric. That is nice. So I'm feeling that is that is really yeah that's really yeah. nice. So I'm very happy. Very very happy. Okay. And then I got um, two other pieces of fabric. Um, I lost the thing. Okay, okay, this is Belfast linen that I got. So I got a 32 count, uh, just like a cream. And then uh, like a dusty rose. That one is so pretty. And that one I'm going to, uh, I also got one pat. I let myself one pattern. So I got the beach from uh, the Cricut. Collection. So I'm gonna put the beach on the rose. The rose, and I'm going to put my nim away on that one. Oh, cool! Very cool. So again, just you know, testing the different types of fabric. This is linen. Feel that, and that's stiffer like the javelin. Right. And then this is linen. Wow. So. I'm not sure how I feel about the Belfast. I'll stitch on it and see. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, no, just try it all out. Yeah. So I went as high as 32 count because I figure I'll try those first and then I'll start to go, if I want to, go higher. Um, so. I spent a little bit more money on patterns. We had gotten the llama lump the last time, so I added from the stacker ones, I got the goat load. Love that. And I got some of the Weeks Dye Works Fancy Floss, um, the specialty dyed floss to go with it. So I will be trying Fancy Floss with this one. And then I also got this one, the Jardin Privé. It's Au Fille de May. Um, it's the months of the year. And that is just my jam right there. I love that. Is that moi? Hmm? Is it M-O-I-S? Oh, I thought it was M-A-I-S. Maybe it's M-O-I-S. Maybe it's more. Anyway, I got some. that one. And then we also got some needles and some scissors. Yeah. Little bitty things. Um, we had a, a comment on our last one. Somebody was telling us that they put their floss on a card with holes punched out of it. And so we made ourselves a card with a leftover yarn band. And I've started measuring out the DMC floss that I have and putting it on. And then our good friend Ray sent us these in the mail that have all the holes, but they also have a magnet on the bottom so that you can put your, your needles. needles on them, which is very, very cool. And they have lines so that you can actually match up your colors. So we have these. And then she is, um, she sent us these to try out as a sample to see what we thought of them for floss cards so that um, we have these to play with too, which is very cool. Yeah. So we're gonna put these with our projects. One of the things we're doing is we are trying to get all our floss in boxes so that we know 
You know, well, if you need stop buying floss willy nilly. Well, you know, if you need floss number seven hundred and thirty two, you can go right to the box and find it rather yeah. than digging through which project bag is it in and that kind of thing. And then you take a couple of strands and put them on your card for, your for that project, and yeah. you have it ready to go. And then if I need seven hundred and thirty two, I can go to the box and take mine. You know, yeah. so that um, we're trying to get it a little bit more organized than all over the place. Right now, the kitchen table is the depository, and it's a mess. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for, the cat was sitting on the kitchen table this morning just flicking her tail, and I was watching floss go fly. <laughs> so we've got to go. We're heading over to the mainland to the craft store to pick up some more boxes so that yeah. we can finish it up. Um, so that is where we are right now. Um, we have kept up so far. Helen has one day to catch up, and then, um, but we've been pretty good at yeah. doing it. And once we get back... Um, we pretty much have the afternoon to ourselves. Right. So I will be stitching. Yes. So we're stitching going to. Stitching and knitting. But what we did, a part of what we've been doing is going through and figuring out what kind of floss we need for the next cup, upcoming ones so that we can fill in empty boxes and right. um, order our, if the pattern calls for the fancier floss, order it. And fabric. And Helen's going to be buying some fabric too. So we're kind of organizing things today and then hopefully tomorrow going in full, yeah. sw full swing. So from now on, we hope to have much more to show you. Yeah, and we're trying to put our projects up each day on our Instagram feeds. So um, come follow us yeah. on Instagram. I'm, as we said at the beginning, Helen HG69. I am Mary Beth 494 and that seems to be all I managed to get up on Instagram right now. And I love starting new things. Now that the pressure is off from this past weekend, it's getting much more fun. Yeah. So. Right. Um, and uh, it's, I love starting new things, but when you get past a certain point and you start seeing things really take shape, yeah. then I get really excited yeah. about it. So yeah, it's good stuff coming up. Okay. All right. Well, have a wonderful week. Um, we will see you in two weeks. For our next floss tube, we're kind of trying to stagger it that we have knitting the one week and stitching the next right. week. And we are on track for our stitching, so our next stitching podcast is two weeks from now. So we will see you then, and hopefully um, we'll have lots to show you. Okay. All right, have a wonderful week, everybody. We are off to Michael's to go decimate their floss section. Okay. Happy mania, everybody. Yeah, happy stitching.